Amber. Nice hair today. Thank you. you I've been just it? trying to put a smoothing serum, but that's okay. What is it? I mean, it's like an anti highlight. Oh, I think the camera is on. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> new episodes of Cappuccino with Amber. I'm your host, Amber, and with me is my host, Stefano. And the Guru. You're back again. So, Guru, did you watch this year's Tony Awards? No, I haven't actually. You know, it was in the light of the Orlando shootings. And the host, Mr. James, um, his answers were less than perfect. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be aired on Sunday on CBS and the broadcast. And it was started with a Solomon mood, you know, with him saying that this seems more like a Super Bowl, but with diversity. Because, you know, Tony Awards, it celebrates life, culture and drama and art. And this year it was uh, more on a, you know, very Solomon mode and because it just did not you know, click right yeah, that because night. Because of the shooting, right? Yeah. That's yeah, right. tragedy instead of life and stuff that it's normally I know. represents. Yeah. That's tragic. That's true. So there's been a lot of news about drones recently, and one of the ways that drones are being used, well, it's not recent, but something that's come up in the news is how the U.S., um, the Pentagon is actually looking into um, using drones that are now um, autonomous, so they don't have to be controlled by humans. And the way that they want to use these drones is that, you know how you have fighter jets? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, those fighter jets are very costly to make. They can take up to like a hundred million to make. In fact, the B-21 bomber that's currently in production right now, yeah. right now it's supposed to be around 550 million to make. For oh my one. goodness, really? 550 million. For, for one. For one. Oh for wow, B21 that is bomber. a steep price. Wow. <laughs> but these drones, they're cost effective. So one drone, for example, there's um, drones that transport um, that transport missiles, that transport materials, they cost around 16 million per drone to make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Only 16 million. Only 16, Only 16 million. million. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. But one way that they're also developing these drones is that they want them to be fighter drones. Mm -hmm. So they want it to be almost like a swarm of wasps in a way. So you would have 12 drones, wow. and then you would have them fight in the battlefield. And instead of having human, you know, having like soldiers, yeah. it would be machine versus machine. Whoa. So as of right now, they're that, using it only as for transportation, for missiles and food and stuff like that, right? Supplies? Yeah, right now it's just for transportation. But they're thinking about making an army of drone-like wasps. Kind of like Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, kind of like Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. You know, Stefano, speaking of technological advancements, Apple has actually made some really big announcements. For example, the first one is that MacOS actually has a new name. It has more continuity over across devices, also with Siri. Another one of the news updates that they actually said is that Apple Pay is coming on the web. Ooh, so okay. it'll be on Safari, it'll be, I think it might even be on Chrome. It'll be on many different things and Apple Pay would be able to, you know, have you ever used Apple Pay? I wish I knew how to, but uh, you can fill me in. <laughs> yeah, you know, I actually found out that you actually link it to your bank account and okay. you can actually pay through an app on your phone. Awesome. Oh, so okay. what, a, what a convenient way to pay, you know? Really, I, I think it might be something, you know, that might be a, used a lot in the future. Cool. It's very simple, off of your phone, and if you have an Apple, of course. Oh, yeah. Another announcement is that the Apple Watch gets faster and adds new features. One of the new features that they add is that if you want to text someone back, just draw letters like what's up, W H A T S U P, and you'd be able to send it that way. And it's gotten faster and smarter in the ways that you use it. I don't know the exact specs, but you know, it reads the user interface to where it actually understands how you use it and makes it more friendly to you specifically. Oh, cool. User friendly. I yes. love that. So another one of the Apple announcements is that Apple Music actually gets a Discover playlist and it actually new interface. So it looks better and it works better. Another news is that Maps is redesigned with navigation in mind. It links with your car, oh, it wow. CarPlay. Cool. And so it actually shoots the maps over into your car and it gives you know directions that way. Yeah. Last but not least, the messages get snazzier. So basically, there's bigger uh -huh. emojis. And yeah. actually, when you type in certain words, yes. suggestive emojis pop up. Oh, cool. Yeah. I love emojis. And it's all yeah. those emotions, happy, sad, 
angry. About yeah, <laughs> I mean, I personally use emojis all the time, and I don't like it whenever someone just texts without emojis anymore. I mean, it's boring to me. I know yeah. emojis make you full of life. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you might have heard from Apple? Well, yeah, there is actually one more update. So mm -hmm. it's called Invisible Ink, okay. and what it is is that when you send a message, you have the option for Invisible Ink, and then when you get the message, the message itself will be blurred out. Okay. Kind of like as if the message was censored. But then what you do is you swipe over the message, and then it encrypts itself. <laughs> oh wow! Something like we used to have whenever we were younger, huh? I know, like and the, the ones with the special type of pens where you gotta. Light it a certain way to where you see it. And somebody you don't like, you can see send really nice messages to somebody you don't like. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Before I forget, Apple also makes a or is making a new app to where they teach kids coding. Did you hear about that? No, no. no. Yeah. No. yeah. What about it's, the coding? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's an app. They're making it free to the oh. public, and it's going to be able to teach kids. And so their message is that they want everybody to have the opportunity to start. Learning coding and enjoying it at a young age,、mm, cool. so that's a really cool thing that Apple is doing. Oh, Apple is no Apple is Apple. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stefano, have you watched the Fast and Furious? I did. I watched the seventh movie actually. I know, and the eighth one is coming out next year with Vin Diesel. And、uh, you know, he recently honored the late actor Paul Walker in a memory on Instagram Snap with his 15-month-old daughter, saying that. This is my friend for Paul because he named his daughter after Pauline, after Paul Walker. Yeah. And you know he died in 2013. You know with a car crash. Yeah, that、and、was so sad. I know. It was, it, it was so heartbreaking, and because he died so young. And、um, Fast and Furious 8 is gonna come out next year, as we all know, and we're all you know crazy fans about Fast and Furious.、Yes. But it, the whole thing was so touching because you know he spoke in an MTV Award interview saying、mm -hmm. that Paul always used to say that. Your friend, everything will be guaranteed, you know. And he feels like with Fast and Furious coming eight into reality, it will be a guarantee to the fans that it's going to be spectacular. Oh yeah, definitely. And it was really sad because Vin Diesel actually said that the only person he was thinking of whenever he was cutting the umbilical cord、mm -hmm. was Paul Walker's friend. Oh yeah, and he felt like he was there in spirit. Exactly. So you know, we are we will be waiting for Fast and Furious eight. So let's see how the car chase goes. So there was some news recently in France about the、um, Euro 2016 tournament,、mm -hmm. and what happened is that England and Russia were playing a match, and at the end of the match, it ended in a draw, and this was in Marseille, France.、Uh -huh. And what happened is that Russian fans, well, let me just set this up for you. So they have the stands separated to where you have the English fans, and then you have the Russian fans. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Well, basically, fans who support either team.、Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that they weren't having really good security that day. So there were people in like the Russian fans who were on the English side,、uh -huh. and then like England fans on the Russian side.、Yes. And what happened is that you know people are very competitive when it comes、oh, to、yeah. football or to sports or soccer. You know, so That's true. so as soon as the match ended in a draw. These Russian fans, they just started like coming after the people who support England,、oh. and they were punching and they were kicking. It was oh my god! Really? It was it was really disastrous. <laughs> oh my god! And this wasn't even the first riot to break out. So there were riots、oh. breaking out outside the stadium. Oh my goodness!、Oh, to the point that they had the police had to use tear gas on them. Oh no! You said the Russians started it? Yeah, people who support the Russian team. Oh my goodness!、Yeah. Yeah, you know the Russians, and then you got the English people. <laughs> I think、uh, I don't know who started it, but that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> So for all you video gamers out there, you guys would be really interested in this news. So Microsoft just revealed a mini 4K Xbox S. It's new. It's called Project Scorpio. It's actually a super console that will launch next year. It's going to be much slimmer than the previous model. It will also come with two terabytes of internal hard disk space and a 4K video. A 4K video? Yes. Oh, cool. So it's going to be like one of those newest,、uh, you know, video. Crazes that kids like actually wait for. Yeah, you know those 4K TVs that are really good resolution.、Uh -huh. yeah, well, imagine exactly. Imagine playing video games on that for all you video gamers out there. Oh my god! I know my brothers would love that. Oh, great resolution <laughs> yeah. quality.、Oh、yeah, you know, but the cost. It's、um, it's gonna open up, of course, in Europe first. It's gonna be from about 300 to 400 euros. Which is actually、oh, okay. a little bit more in U.S. dollars, sure so it's pretty time, expensive. I think it will go down. It, it probably will. It. Yeah, that's yeah. probably right. All right. 
But yeah, um, look forward over to the new Project Scorpio Xbox gaming system next year. I like the name Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> So Stefano, I heard there was a cat fight on the Tweety Bird. There was actually. So on Twitter, uh, <laughs> so Obama, you know, he had recently um, talked about his support for Hillary Clinton because uh -huh. she's the presumptive nominee for the Democratic Party. Of mm -hmm. course. But then, of course, Donald Trump went online on Twitter and then said, "Oh, tweet, Obama." Tweet. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, he was talking about, "Oh, Obama's now supporting Hillary." Well, crooked Hillary. So Donald Trump's tweet, he was talking about comparing Hillary to Obama and how if we have Hillary in office, uh -huh. it's just going to be four more years of him. Okay. But then, of course, Hillary saw the tweet, and then she's like, she quoted his tweet, and then over it, she wrote, Del Delete your account. account. Yeah. <laughs> Three famous words. But the yeah. thing is, they, the fans of Donald Trump and all, you know, all of Twitter, they were like, well, I think Hillary should stay away from that word, delete, because Donald yeah. Trump responded something to that, didn't he? I think it was, um, there were people who, Republican supporters, they were talking about, um, they made puns with, like, her emails and Benghazi about, like, deleting her emails. Exactly. Oh, okay. That's so why that was she, what they were like, delete yeah. your account? Yeah, <laughs> so Hillary should stay away from the words delete. I know. So there were tweets like, Hillary's probably the one who knows how to use the delete button and stuff. Oh. Yeah, that, what was interesting, though, is that online, I think it was a few hours later the same day, Hillary, she wrote a tweet to Donald Trump saying, like, I like your pants or something. Yes, yes, I saw that. And I was so, like, okay. And people were like, so is that Hillary's way of apologizing? Yeah, I'm like... Are you really serious? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. But, yeah, Donald Trump responded, he was like, or to the first tweet, that did it take your, what, 800 and something delegates to think of those three words or something like that. Ooh. And Hillary's tweet, delete your account, got about 120,000 retweets and oh likes. Oh, goodness. While Donald Trump Trump's response to that got over 200,000 retweets oh and likes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I'm glad that there's no Instagram fights. <laughs> yes, that's right. But what's interesting is that her tweet, delete your account, that was her most retweeted tweet out of her whole entire campaign yeah. on Twitter. Oh, cool. All right. So guys, Disney's first Polynesian princess is back in a new movie. Really? Yes, and I'm so excited because she's not only adventurous, Moana is not only Polynesian origin, but she's a master wayfinder. And Moby by her side, she's ready to set sail across the ocean and be adventurous. And, you know, she's going to be so beautiful. Wow, yeah, I've heard a lot of people are actually really excited about this. I know, and not only that, Moana can hold her own uh, mystical powers, and she's going to be so phenomenal. And, and the funny thing is, she also has a sidekick. She and, does? Yes, she does, and she has a cute little pig, and the adorable pet pig name is Pua. And you know what Pua means? What does it mean? It means flower. Ah, oh, that's Hawaiian cute. Language. And you know, and, and, and so adorable. And I think the kids are going to fall in love with this character. She has a power, powerful connection to nature. Mm. All those, as we see in the latest trailer, that Moana has been one with it. She can do all sorts of, and she can change forms into any sea life animal. She can fly the wind. So Moana has been one with the sea and its animals since she was a tiny tot in diapers. She's got a shapeshifter on her side. And you know how she does that? She changes form and she changes it to really a man or a god. And she has this incredible connection to humanity. So I'm really excited to watch this movie. Yeah, it actually seems really interesting. I know, and she's going to relate to so many wonderful qualities. Yeah, I know a lot of kids want to shape shift and do all that stuff too. So the kids, I think, are going to absolutely love this. Yes, we, and we always love Disney's amazing projects. So I'm so excited. So Guru, Microsoft, you were speaking about it earlier, strikes the deal with LinkedIn as well. Wow, they did. Yes, and for hmm. $18.4 billion. That's a lot of money. Ouch. And you know, and Microsoft signed on LinkedIn because uh, the boss, Satya Nadala, wants to empower people and organizations. And when Microsoft paired with LinkedIn, they decided that it will it's going to enrich so many people in the walks of professional life mm -hmm. because LinkedIn is all about connecting people in all yeah, walks business of profession. people. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Microsoft and LinkedIn, you know, CEO, uh, he was they were of the same thought, and they said if we merge together, it will be a much powerful organization. You know, I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm so excited. Two business powerful entities. Oh, cool. 
So enough to put you off of your food guru, Instagram just recently rebranded popular snacks with their caloric content and it was truly depressing because it had amazing high value of calories. Oh man. So one pack of fries of McDonald's actually had 515 calories. 515. Yes. One bottle of vodka had about 1625 calories. Can you imagine? And not only that, one Ben & Jerry ice cream had about 1200 calories. 1200 calories in yes. one ice cream. And one jar of Nutella of chocolate actually had which is so amazing by the way, 4520 calories. Oh. 4000. <laughs> So Instagram, act, and, you know, and one bottle of ketchup actually had 760 calories, and Domino Pizza around 1,680 calories. That's crazy. That doesn't surprise me. But what surprises me is that Nutella can 4,000 yes. something calories, and that little. I mean, I know some teenage girls that just gobble that stuff up on some sad lonely nights. Like eat it with a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, and you know those Skittles that you eat, it, just a small, like a, like a bar of Skittles would have 230 calories. But uh, so anyway, so they put it up there and you know, depressing numbers man, seriously. If you guys have been watching Caps enough, you guys should know that I love talking about nutrition. A recent article that I read upon is that some nutrients you might be having not enough of mm -hmm. is magnesium, oh. selenium, oh. iron, and a whole bunch of others, but like magnesium and selenium. Selenium you can get when you're eating in canned tuna. And iron also canned tuna. So a lot of these things, you know, even though what you told us in our previous one was that some of the foods might have too much calories, mm -hmm. some foods you might want to actually eat more of. A lot of oily fish, a lot of... Omega-3s. Exactly. Uh -huh. Omega-3s, you got bananas for potassium, just mm -hmm. a lot of nutrients that you might want to eat more of in different foods such as beans, dark vegetables, leafy yes, greens. that's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so make sure you watch what you eat, eat the good stuff, make sure that you're not lacking any nutrients. And not only that, Guru, because these, uh, these things fight free radical damage in body. So vitamin B12, folate, vitamin D, calcium absorption is actually good for you. So I'm, I mean, it is very important that we, you know, address these nutrients in our body so we're not deficient. Yeah, that's right. Immune function, healthy thyroid function, mm -hmm. these nutrients are very important to you. Okay. So yeah. I cannot stress enough to make sure that you get enough nutrients from the foods that you because eat. Because a healthy mind is a healthy body. That's right. Yeah. So there's been a lot in the news about nutrition lately, and one of those is about malnutrition. So most people you know think about malnutrition being someone who's underweight or who's skinny. That can but, be understandable. Yeah, but then malnutrition can also be people that are overweight or obese as well. Hmm. And it actually, um, the Global Nutrition Report that came out said that 1 in 12 people in the world has diabetes. 1 in 12? 1 in 12. I was shocked also that it's 1 in 12. They say that also 2 billion people, and I'm not kidding about this, 2 billion are either overweight or obese. 2 billion. 2 billion, which is, you know, a huge... So how can, how can malnutrition affect obese people? I don't understand. Well, because malnutrition, if you're underweight, well, first, well, if you're underweight, you know, you're lacking vitamins, you know, minerals. But then if you're overweight as well, you have too much fat, you have too much cholesterol, oh, you have I too see. much sodium. Okay. Uh-huh. And they were measuring um, different um, levels health, in the body. Yeah, different levels and, you know, health statistics on each continent. And they found that in that in Africa and Asia, because of mm -hmm. you know the obesity epidemic that's worldwide, yes. their GDP goes down 11% each year. Oh my God, really? Oh wow. Each year? Each year, 11% their GDP. All because of you know obesity and being overweight because it really can affect, you know, it can affect the economy. So you're telling me that the economy is affected by the obesity the epidemic. It is actually, you know, what we eat, it can affect, you know, the job market as well. Wow, so we need to make sure that we're healthy so that the economy is healthy as well. Yeah, everything, everything just correlates. You I know? guess so. Uh, I yeah, guess. so eat right so we can make more money. Uh, thank you. <laughs> So the prankster joke, a friend actually do a prank on a friend. It was so amazing that he trusted him to collect his exam results into thinking he got awful marks. And guess what happened? What happened? He photoshopped the paper to back up his joke. You know, Hayden Ty, 21, asked his friend, Elias McGill, 23, to collect his exam results. 
and McGill fibbed about the results saying Ty scored really bad. So the prankster even photoshopped an exam paper to add merit to his lies and the pair fell out when McGill was found out. But they're friends now. <laughs> oh, talk about, you know, know. dedication yeah. to that prank. Talk about scaring someone with a prank. Oh, I know I would be absolutely scared <laughs> if my friend did that to me. My grades are, yeah. you know, that's... I'd be horrified. <laughs> yes. Well, that's all, folks, for this week's uh, episode of Cappuccino with Amber. We will see you again next week with my both amazing co-host... Stefana. And... The Guru. Bye. See you next time.